How does data transfer through a wire? When data is transmitted through a wire such as Ethernet, fiber optic, or telephone cables, it is converted into signals that can travel through the medium. The process depends on the type of wire and the underlying transmission technology. Let's talk about the types of data transmission through wires. Electrical signals are used in copper wires like Ethernet, telephone and coaxial cables. Data is converted into electrical pulses, representing binary ones and zeros. High voltage equals 1 and low voltage equals 0. This method is used in Ethernet cables such as CAT5 and CAT6, DSL and telephone lines. Light signals or fiber optic cables. Data is transmitted as pulses of light using LEDs or lasers. Light on equals 1, light off equals 0. This method offers higher speed and less signal loss over long distances. Radio frequency, commonly used with coaxial cables for cable TV and internet. Data is modulated into high frequency electrical signals. This technology is used in cable broadband internet and television broadcasting. How is data transmitted over wires? Let's break it down step by step. First, digital data conversion. Computers store data in binary, which is zeros and ones. Before sending, this data is converted into electrical, optical or radio signals. Next, transmission through wires. Signals travel through copper wire as electrons, fiber optic as light, or coaxial cable as radio waves. For long distances, repeaters or signal boosters are used to prevent signal loss. Finally, receiving and decoding. The receiving device decodes the signals back into binary data. The data is then reconstructed into its original form. Practical example, how Ethernet or LAN transfers data. Imagine PC1 sends data to PC2 over an Ethernet cable. First, PC1 converts the data into binary. This binary data is then converted into electrical signals. These signals travel through a twisted pair copper cable, like CAT6. PC2 receives the electrical signals and converts them back into binary. Finally, the data is reconstructed at PC2. For Ethernet speed examples, we have fast Ethernet, which operates at 100 megabits per second using electrical signals, and gigabit Ethernet, which can go up to 1 gigabit or 10 gigabits per second using more advanced signal processing.